Cooper, um, a big victory. Not that Magnus suffers from confidence that often, but uh, yeah, nice, nice to get a win, and and now he's he's really putting on a show here. Although this game, something went wrong there with Magnus bringing out the the dark squared bishop. As we can see, he kind of had to tuck his tail and back up. But um, feels like Black is doing okay here. We like the knight on f4. You like the potential attacking chances. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Magnus is getting the no. side first. Uh, Black is doing uh, Black is doing good for sure. Yeah, Definitely some sort of blunder, something happened, but. Um, it's a bullet game, and uh, at, at least in this portion, the players will make a few more mistakes. And let's just let's just see if Kusenov can uh, manage his time better, because he'll be a lot more unforgiving in this format. Well, only a half an hour left until we move into the uh, the uh, last Chess 960 game. Of course, if you're just joining us, as you've seen, the scoreboard is is pretty lopsided in the direction of the uh, of the one and only Magnus Carlsen. Um, also, if you're just joining us, if you uh, haven't had an opportunity yet to dive into our uh, our challenge, our, our Photoshop challenge, you can do some. Somebody did a uh, mustache on Magnus, actually, as uh, as uh, we, we 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 jump over here. Somebody somebody confusing what we were asking for did a Photoshop for a mustache on Magnus. Not necessarily the crazy hair we're looking for, but uh, if you still want to get involved with a chance to win a one-year diamond membership, throw a Photoshop together of either yourself or just show us your craziest hairstyle ever in honor of Magnus, Magnus Carlson's trouble. hairstyle. Magnus in trouble. He's in trouble? Yeah. I got to see it. What do we got? Oh, he wasn't because Bishop takes F2 would run into... Oh, okay. He was worried. Okay. I thought he was in trouble. He still might be in trouble, but uh, I thought it was going to be a bit worse. Queen takes. Queen takes. Oh, it's made. It's made on G1, so he couldn't take it. Queen G1. Okay. Then he's Queen only G1. got ten seconds too. So this is this is a, a rare, a rare Magnus press under pressure sighting. Nice move, King F2. Yeah, that might force the draw. M might be one of the weirdest. No, King F3, no draw. There's no Bishop D5 because it's pinned. There's no more checks. Yes, there's no up. This is the kind of fighting chess we were looking oh, for. Oh, this is good stuff. I thought Rook takes G8 would have been the answer there. Ah, uh, but he wiggles his way with oh, the Oh, that's queen. disgusting. Danny, that, I that, mean, that's that too much. That was nasty. That's too much. And it's not even fair. Man. Oh, <laughs> he, he's like, he's chilling on F3. He's like, you got out. He, he immediately recognized that. And he just, there's, you're never ever getting a check. I, I put my queen on F. So now that was not. That, that was, was just nasty. that was absolutely nasty. That was that was brilliant stuff there. The king walks up to F3, and um, look at that awareness and look at how quickly uh, he 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 knew not to take that. Yeah. And Gadir just you know there's nothing he could do. He just looked to the side and kind of shrugged his head. Everyone could see it on camera. It's just like well, another one bites the dust against Magnus Carlsen. Um, it was it was instructive how he danced around the pawn. You do not always have to take those pawns. You can use them as, as shields. Right. Uh, and that's a great example of, of, of using it and uh, uh, persevering. Yeah, no, that was, that was, that's one you might want to back up, fans. Take another closer look at, especially from a practical, being better at blitz and bullet perspective, like Eric said. You don't always have to play the forceful taking move. All right. Well, here Magnus is being forceful and taking pieces. He's gone. He's gone greedy. Ganesh over here, greedy Guillermo. He took that B pawn. He's going to open up the queen side. <laughs> greedy Guillermo has not been too present today, but he'll come out at some point. Um, <laughs> um, he usually does. Uh, but okay, Magnus is is dancing with the queen, but I think Black is totally fine here. Um, um. Yeah, black, black is fine. It's it seems pretty balanced. Um, Queen of two can be met by I guess even d four and try to bring the knight into d five. So he's gonna go for endgame. I was gonna say if Magnus gets into end games, I like almost always put him as a massive favorite. Yeah. Uh, if it's just some sort of relatively balanced end game, and this might be another example. Look at that move, rookie three fork. E five is falling. The the th critical thing here is to get that on c7 to a square like e4 or c4 somewhere better than it is right now. Then I'll be able to evaluate this a bit better. So knight b5 and knight c3. Okay, okay, he's he's quickly activated that knight. He he activates pieces so so like it's just immediate. He sees something wrong, and he goes to work right away. What's the what's the best square? That knight on e6. Um, very centralized, but uh, okay. Bishop. I mean, generally, bishop should be better in open position. 
and that does the bishop is guarding a2 and and maybe hitting f7 so we'll see if you know gadir is obviously poking at the pawn everybody and you these games are are pretty competitive magnus has uh he's, n he's not back down and he's allowing them to be quite tactical in, in nature and right which makes and, it even more impressive when yes. he goes so many games making very few blunders but uh but yeah, here here Gusainov is doing okay. That bishop, okay, he's giving up the bishop. I was going to say the bishop is the best minor piece on the board, but but apparently he doesn't care. I mean, bizarre decision. What can I say? That that was a good bishop, and yeah. Nick's blacks play very easy. Look, if the rooks were off the board, you'd push the h pawn. If maybe one rook was off the board, uh, a pair of rooks was off, I'd push the h pawn. Yeah, now he's now With two he's, rooks. It's not so simple to just push. And if he it. pushes this pawn too far, everybody look for mating nets on the h file. So uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, at some point, if I was black, I might go for a jog with king b6, king a5. I do have to time that properly. It's a nice little move there, rook f3. Um, yeah, taking advantage of the pin. But uh, fortunately for what he's got, rook g7, covering g2. He wants to play h5 uh, with, a, with the pawn not being pinned. Um, okay, b4 now. Why, why did you... Yeah, why a4? King b5, I'm happy to do that. This seems like... Oh, thank you very much, king c4. The opposite c4. direction of... Oh, who is positive. positive. This is Good obvious. Dear, you're going the opposite direction of positive oh. right now. <laughs> this is not how ideal. That, how did that happen? Is it the... I, no. No, he should have just done what you said. Once he once he established the rook on g7, it was defending g2, he should have just started pushing the h-pawn. No, this is... Uh... This is tough. <laughs> Even there, everybody, white would have loved to have traded and taken the rook on c2 but you, uh, and f3, but then you get the queen. So, just... um. So many he problems. He won a worse endgame so quickly. I mean, this is... Oh, Kadir is going to be very upset about that because he knew he was better in the endgame at one point, and he knew he probably should have been quicker. Right. He he had to make a lot of mistakes for that to happen the way it uh, did. Well, luckily for Kadir, this nightmare is only 20 minutes away from ending. Um, it's, a, it's a frustrating day here uh, for the Aziri, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's... Um, I guess he's been principled, so we wanted him to mix it up. Let's give him. Let's make it a positive thing. He's been principled, Eric. <laughs> he's been principled. It's just um, too little, too late. Yeah. And uh, Magnus has been sort of the one allowing that to happen. Yeah. So when I'm looking back on it, well, maybe I'll save some questions for for afterwards. But he needed to be a bit more um, direct himself in enforcing the the uh, imbalances. Yeah. Well, now we've got a Kings on opposite side of the board game, which is usually a fun one for attacking chances. Problem is that knight on a4 blocks everything, and, uh, and white bishop on f1 guards b5. <laughs> this is just lost. It was a good. It was just lost. It's just lost, though. Plus, you give, gonna, Magnus, you give yeah. Magnus one more move. He's going to play something like g4 and h5, and just bust yeah. open Black's king. You, you can't move any of your pieces as Black. This is actually very sad. Queen d6 is. I mean, this is this is. Uh, yeah, White might even play b6 here. B6 or take on uh, C6, play Bishop B5 with tempo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, this is this is lost. This is uh, playing itself. The uh, the bullet ratings are even Queen. more. Uh, there's an even bigger Queen disparity G6. between the 3200 that Magnus Carlson boasts on our site. Um, Queen so, D6 play. Oof. I'm surprised Gusianov's rating is 2400. I don't know if he's a very active uh. bullet player because. I mean, let's be honest. That's lower than my bullet rating, right? So yeah. certainly, I would think he's he's better than that. Maybe just not actively playing enough to raise that rating. Mm -hmm. If Magnus finishes the bullet portion under thirty two hundred, I think we can consider that a moral victory for Gusenov. A uh, a small victory. The little things that count. Now this is uh, definitely looking a bit like uh, Fifty Shades of Chess. Or yep. something, Danny. This <laughs> sort of position. It's uh, getting graphic. Mag Magnus is uh, is the doctor here, and he's uh, he's having his way. Yep. This is uh, this is rough. Um, I have you seen those movies, by the way? I I've never seen them. Which one? The, uh, if, the if no, I have Shades? not. I have not. No, I have not. Never dove into the Fifty Shades of Grey, and now there's like another one coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know Mon likes them, so I, I've always been curious uh, about them, but I ha haven't seen it yet. Yeah. The uh, the seventh rank is going to be a problem for Gusainov, and it almost hurts to just to just wait for when the the tactics are coming in. Owie, it's hurting. It's hurting. Here he comes. 
He could even take. I thought he was going to take d8 and play knight f6 check, but I, that was unnecessary. So no, and not good actually. Um, yeah, this is rough, Eric. We got problems in Gusanov Town. We will. Uh, Keep the scoreboard above us, even though we don't. Can get three. Yeah, we don't expect things to change too much. Well, he found a way to put his bishop back on g7. That's where he's most most comfortable. But um, this is tough. This is this is I mean, tough. I mean, I, I can always be critical. At the end of the day, he's playing Magnus, though, and it's just it is so hard. If Magnus wants to shut uh, you down. He does it against the very, very, very best players in the world. Yep. So I mean, even even with let's say a, a different game plan, you have no guarantee of, uh, of a lot of uh, space or, or opportunity. And Magnus, you know, he's not he's not letting up at all. I mean, psychologically, he's just as sharp as he was before. Um, you know, he's keeping his edge, and uh, and uh, and yeah. So uh, we seem to have lost a deer a little bit. Um, what, what do you mean by that? Does that mean I'm cut into half again? I mean, you're cut in half, but I'm fixing it. So, <laughs> as best I can. until I can move time. over. No, no, you don't need to move I'm, over. I actually already but fixed I'm it. But I'm fine going side to side, wiggling, wiggling around a bit. So. You're, you're open to different positions, is what you're telling me. Um, oh, yeah. yeah the, uh, the, the positions right now are just running out of control here for... Uh, well, here he's got space, Danny. He's got space here. This is a good position for White, objectively. He's got space. Get in f4. Move that knight away from f3. Knight h2, f4. Play d5 and f4. Use that space advantage for something sharp. Please. That's what he's going to yeah, go for. This is a good position. This is definitely a good position. This is like a good briar or something. Yeah. yeah. Um... It's bold though. This is a time where Magnus doesn't have time. Like this is this is the moment where it's going to be hard to be accurate as Black. Yeah, if he can be aggressive. Um, he's, he's being positional and things like that, but oof. go on the king side. No, go yeah, I agree. King. Forget about b4, knight h2, and f4. Because Check Magnus, mate. in the meantime, is improving his pieces. That bishop on g7. Now, okay, we'll see. Queen c1. Get Freddy involved. Freddy. Freddy. Yes, there all we right. Go. There we go. There we go. That's there we that, go. That's necessary. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Now here comes f5. There we go. Maybe just slay rook f1. Bring the rook back to the f file. For sure. Quickly. No. You had to defend g5. That was uh, the okay, yeah. But now I take and play bishop g7. White still has to have something here. Here we go. There Knight we go. f5. We go. Knight That's f5. the move we were Excellent. waiting for. Knight f5. Who will grind up with that against Simon and Olive, man? It's, it's very tough to face over the board. Here's the king's going to tuck itself away. If this queen could just get itself f6, to h5. f6. 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 And put that bishop and queen on the same diagonal. F6. Yep. Bishop, bishop b1. Bishop b1, and I want to put my queen on c2. I don't care about the rook. Yep. Bishop takes d1, you'll go. take with the queen, and the queen comes yes. to d3, and it's over. Ooh, this is this is almost a mating net. I think he has rook a1. Queen. I think Magnus has rook a1. Oh, dang. Oh, look at the queen c8 check. If queen d3, I think there's... Oh, I'd never, I, thought, I think there's bishop g1 check, and then... What? What happened? Was that was that the expected journey for this position? Uh, I don't see. I'm waiting for the moves. Uh, myself. Oh, king h8. Take take. Uh, I think he just has to settle on the draw. A lot of talk, no action in this one apparently because. I think we're I think uh, we're settling. Not even Magnus can get out of this perpetual as much as he'd like to. All right. Well, Gadir gets himself one game closer to not losing, uh, not being a footnote. Right. He needs to get a bullet and a half. He needs to get a game and a half victory here in bullet uh, to not go down by a score larger than Tigran Petrosian did last year. Magnus Carlson is. Uh, that was better. That was better um, by by Gadir to to uh, uh, play play aggressively like that. Uh, can still be improved on, and it's a little late. But uh, this these bullet games can go either way. A lot of these games have been uh, so. Uh, 
I think there's decent chances, Danny. How, how much time does he have? Eight minutes? He has. I need to uh, go back to the uh, to the time. No, he's got 14 minutes. Okay, 14 minutes. So got time to get a few a few wins here. So we will uh, we'll see what he can do here as black in this weird close facility. It's all about just swinging the sword right now, seeing if it uh, if it hits something. Oh, the blunder! But you know what? I'm calling a win for Magnus. I'm calling this to be a win for Magnus, Danny. Yeah, he's blundering the queen for two pieces, but uh, this is where we're going to see some nasty maneuvering with the miners. Okay, well, I can't wait then. I, I, I'm predicting a win for Magnus here. I think he's really going to... Uh, he's going he's gonna to put on the, uh, the, the maneuvering pants. He, he, actually, he actually is. I, I've, um, Do you own a pair of maneuvering pants, or is that against uh, chess bra dress code? Like, I know you guys are really into tight Euro jeans. Like, I've got some maneuverability we're, we're jeans. Tight, we're in the tight Euro jean uh, industry, but... Uh, yeah. Um, Remember when baggy yeah. cargo pants were a thing, or are you too young for that? Sort of too young for that, but in terms yeah. of maneuvering, we we have some shorts and some other things okay. at home. That if we want to maneuver a bit more, we we have uh, homemade equipment. <laughs> yeah, um, I uh, I like jeans that are flexible, so I can do squats in them. <clears throat> Look at this. If I never go to the gym with uh, jeans. No, of course I wouldn't either. But you never know when you just need to like bust out a squat set, like. CrossFit oh. happens everywhere, buddy. It happens. That's true. You're 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 a CrossFit. That's uh, right. CrossFit That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now this is looking a bit ugly. The bishop on a two is not the sort of piece I was uh, counting. Yeah, queen e three is made, everybody, and it's coming. I think. No, uh, I think Eric's prediction was bold, but I think it will be wrong, and I think Gusainov gets him one gets himself one step closer to not being a footnote in the history book of Magnus Carlsen. Yeah. Well, based on the way the games were going, there was a decent chance he was going to score a win because they. Oh no, I I didn't I didn't I didn't call you yeah. out right then because I yeah, thought yeah. you might be right. Believe me, I uh, yeah, yeah. I understand, yeah, yeah. but yeah. but yeah, I, it looks like Usain Rex was on the road to victory here. Or Queen H one check, everything works. Yeah, I'm surprised this game is still going. There we go. All right. Not as many guess the movers anymore. Apparently, people got tired of trying to guess what Gusianov might play next. Um. He's. Uh, we're, we're trying to guess when he's going to rejoin us on camera. I've let uh, Lickadeer know that we lost him on a technical level. We're back. We're back to the Pierts, although this time again, um, the colors are reversed. Magnus is black. The uh, the score I'm going to predict will not be as bad as Petrosian Carlson. I'm going to predict that at some point in the next ten minutes, Gusainov gets at least a draw. So I'm on record now. Gusainov will not go down as the biggest lop lopsided loss to Magnus. I mean, the that, honest that, truth is that the closest match Magnus has had so far, um, was it the well, Grushik match? I mean, even was, against Hikaru, he really, he really pulled away. It was Grushik because he was only up one game after both uh, time controls. And yeah, only yeah. In the bull portion did Magnus pull. It was the Grushik game. Grushik is a very tough opponent for Magnus. Yeah. No, I, stylistically, I if you, I, I agree with you totally. And in fact, you remember, I actually picked Grishik to pull that upset, and that was a horrible pick in hindsight. But it was partly because I didn't know how good Magnus was in Bullet. I didn't know, and now I know. So, um, I mean, it's like I know I would never pick against Hikaru in the Bullet portion, but I, I just didn't know how good Magnus was in Bullet, and he, and he really uh, gave Grishik a beat down there. But. Um, but I think stylistically, Grishik match matches up well with Magnus. He's beaten Magnus in the World Blitz Championship before. So if Grishik takes down MBL and Magnus takes down Wesley So, as we move over to the uh, to the bracket here, which I think we can update at this point as uh, Magnus Carlson moving on, and my team has already done that. I think if, if, if Magnus takes down So and Grishik beats MBL, that's a, that's a semifinals rematch from last year that'll be big. Um... But yeah, so we haven't announced our hosts yet. Obviously, Eric and I will definitely be back, you know, at least for a couple. We've got other hosts who are going to jump in on this. Um, we've got the we've got the later rounds of the Speech Chess Championship coming up. So um, everyone should stay tuned. We already announced the dates earlier today um, on the show. The next match will be October 23rd, Grishik versus MVL. This is the next time you're going to see the Speech Chess Championship on Twitch. Um, we will be announcing all details of those things shortly. So, 
Who do you got in these? Uh, who do you got going all the way in this? Are you gonna you gonna go with Magnus? Yes, because uh, the other ones I don't know how to pick. Nepo, Kari, I, the other ones are all toss ups, but I definitely take Magnus over So in his uh, in the next match. That that would be my my first prediction. Yeah, and it would be a uh, it would be a safe one. All right. Well, uh, go ahead. Yeah. No, just Kusenov now is uh, is getting closer to another win here, Danny. Yeah, we like that. He's. Uh, we like that. Okay, so you can take no, you can't take on e4 because of the mate. B4 thrown in. Queen takes b4. Maybe rook c7 is the idea. Uh huh. Yeah, he was trying to deflect the queen away from that c7. So, so rook e4 is still not possible because of queen a1 check. Back rank issues. On f2, d3 check. Ah. The discovery what? gone no, wild. Take on one game came over. I ah, just work F A check. Okay, work F A or this. Well, Gusena was doing really well. Actually. Yeah, yeah, and, he and had the pressure. As soon as he was winning, he started taking too much time, which happens all the time. You you have too many choices. Yeah, he uh, beat himself there because I think that it was a safe prediction to think he might get he might get past that. He needs to get one more draw, one more victory here to get out of that four spot. Well, Magnus, going back to this uh, Larson, he's he's been great, getting great positions with this structure. He he plays f three here usually, g four, bishop b five. But uh, okay, knight knight b four, bishop f five is the idea. Bishop f five, rook c one. Yep. And the issue now here G4. is that White has g four, and then the moves coming with tempo now, right? Mm-hmm. But b5 is coming too, and I think he will play maybe queen b8 and b5. Okay, b5 right away. Magnus is saying, look, take on a4. My knight's going to be happy there. Yep. Okay, well, this doesn't seem inspiring because now there's no more potential on the a file. Is yeah, there? black is just, black is yeah. on full tilt here. Sacrifice every pawn until something becomes open. <laughs> b4. Yep. Close it up. Close it up. <laughs> the uh, you take with the D pawn and then play G five at some point here. White is wow. B B five was a little surprising, but I guess um C four. He's going to do C four uh, and just use that pawn mass, like Queen B four or something. Use that pawn mass and uh, and uh, turn the tables. I like Queen B four to avoid this option. That's why I want to keep all the pawns. Yeah. Queen b4 this instead is... of queen d3. But yeah, g5 is a threat. Yeah, g5 oh, I mean, is still Mag coming. Funny enough, the two bishops, Magnus is totally okay here down in the exchange. g5? g5, g5 what's the idea? knight e8, knight h5? Yeah, or I can just move my queen out of the way to stop bishop takes b5 ideas. I can just say I have just better pieces. Play a move like queen b4 here. Queen b4, knight d5, knight e7, check queen b4, king b1. Uh huh. Queen, just. Secure yeah, the, I still like knight h5, but I wonder. Okay, is no. there. Okay, knight h5, yeah, because of knight takes g7, yeah. Something bothered him there, I'm not sure what. Maybe f6. Yeah, yeah. So he's willing to give up the b pawn for the exchange, but Gusainov is trying for more. Now he's threatening knight takes, which is a good idea, because that will come with tempo on the queen. This isn't so convincing. This is. Uh, all these games are, are, are quite. I think. I mean, Magnus is having fun in this in this portion. He's. He's allowing it to be a bit sharper, and uh, I mean, Gusenov is showing that he's not that bad at these chaotic positions. Yeah, it just took him uh, the bullet portion uh, to to, uh, to, to go into up. them. Yeah, yeah. I like these tactics. Bishop f5, these quick tactics. Yep. He's showing. I mean, he's known for being pretty pretty good at blitz and pretty sharp. I mean, so. here he's got rook d8. If king e1, queen e3. If king mm. e2, then knight d4. So yeah, what? must be bishop d3 after rook d8. Ah, uh, okay. So defends it. But now this is a better version. He's probably got at least a draw here. Actually, yeah, he's got at least a draw. King e2 doesn't work as a knight d4 check. Yep. So black in the driver's seat again. Play tickle. Time for some tickle. Let's get that perpetual tickle. I think he will get tickle. And we will only have a few more games, actually. Four minutes Maybe left total. A draw? Don't take a draw here. Got to play this out. Is it rook d8? Eh, no, you want to play... Okay. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. He succeeded it, Danny. He's no longer he's no longer in the record books as uh, 
as the most brutalized victim of Magnus Carlsen. Um, but uh, but he is officially, of course, out of the match um, as we go over to the scoreboard and remind everybody there is only four minutes remaining in the uh, in the total game clock, and then we will be switching to one final Chess 960 game. We'll talk to the players. We'll ask Magnus Carlsen how he makes chess look so easy. Check in on his uh, his music playlist of choice. Um, maybe Eric can once again try to uh, try to pawn off some swag. Magnus, I don't know. Um, if Magnus hasn't committed to the gnomes this year, Eric, maybe you can poach him for the chess bra team, huh? I would uh, love to. I, I was even spe- I, I uh, was even speaking to two players in in Isle of Man, and and it would be a dream to recruit Magnus, but. Uh, I think he's pretty. I think he's pretty patriotic, to, um, right? He like he, he likes yeah. to he likes to defend Norway, Norway's home turf. They needed him. He played a lot of matches. They they there aren't that many chess players in the country that are able to make every match. He played he played yep. so many matches for them last year. It'd be it, he's irreplaceable. Yep. Well, um, um, looks like he have swindled his way to maybe maybe some positive tactics here. Against Gusainov with this move knight to d5. Everybody, obviously, the rook is hanging, and and then c3 falls. Uh, excuse me. Just uh, had a yawn on chess TV. I mean, that's not good. That means this is a yawner or a lapper. Bishop d4 here. Okay, taking back. Oh, now, okay, this is opposite color this bishops. Is not, yeah. Although, this is not chaotic. This is okay. Bishop f six. Yeah, now I was gonna say I was good bishop, but probably slightly better for Gusainov with this bishop. Although, okay, wait, he's down a pawn. I forgot to take a head count. So hard to say that Black is is worse if he's down a pawn, but this bishop is no, very especially, nice. Place. Especially because Rook B eight here challenges the B file. He might even take that or play a five. Mm. And his king, his king is going to shuffle either to D seven and C six. King F eight, King E eight, King D seven, King C six. Yeah, he's not. Um, uh, where he's going to go this way? The rook on c3 is never really going to get an open file. G5 is a nice trick coming because after takes king g6, white is that's nice. Six, one. Yeah, yeah. Then you'll have to go f4 and some things get weak. Here He's he done comes. It. We'll that see that good. trick we just talked about. Mm-hmm. King g6, everybody in the pawn can't take. So, oh, okay. But you're right. Black got out of that without more. without really any problems. It seemed that was impressive. Um, so Magnus wants to play f4 and fix those pawns on g2 and f3 and come up with some ideas. f4, I'm expecting. Maybe. Oh, first he wants to stop the king from going to d4. So now, uh, maybe rook g1. Uh huh. Maybe bring the king to g3 if possible. I want to play f4 and g4. Freddy is coming. Freddy is coming. King d4. No? Rook, okay. Rook a1, I guess. Rook a1. Yeah. Okay, rook b1 okay, first. first. Now bishop c3, you can't play rook a1. That was the only issue with this. Uh, uh, okay. Move. Yeah, maybe Magnus mm-hmm. should have played Rook A1 there. Now he's gone into a bit of a think. He's only got a minute to convert on this, otherwise we're headed into Chess 960 and no more one-minute games. Um, uh, what, what's Magnus doing here? Is he asking the pawn to be pushed to A7? Because I'll do that and I'll put my bishop on D4. I will push that pawn to A7. Mm-hmm. Magnus might... Uh, here comes Bishop D4. A6, Bishop D4, A7... Uh, put my and bishop on d4. Also good play you can play a6, and then oh, I'm surprised by that. Surprise! This is counting on e5 being some counterplay, but uh, yeah, <laughs> these games could go both ways. Well, officially, I think we can let the players know that this will be their last uh, one-minute game heading this into Chess 960. After this, one of the first times I've seen the uh, bull portion be the best for the player losing. Usually they uh, it gets even worse, so they start off strong. Well, we have Chess 960, then we have interviews. Always nice to hear Magnus Carlsen give his thoughts on the match, although today I'm sure that it was... Um... No, I mean, Black, White is playing for two results here, Danny. Yep. He Good was year. down to three seconds before to 30, and now it's three seconds to five. Now he's totally... So Maybe rook, uh huh. Then rook c seven. I want to bring my king to b four. I want to play king king c two, king b two, yep. king a king b four. If he can do that, then yeah. th- there will indeed be winning chances. But Magnus has smartly prevented yeah. that king from improving his position. Right now, you can do it. King c two first. Ah, 
The A pawn. Can't take it. Why couldn't he take the A pawn? He, I'm not sure. Maybe it was just a practical choice. He wasn't sure if there was a tactic there, but he knew the king would be safe on a light square. You know, you won't blunder on a light square. Right, right. Well, Still, that pawn yeah, can now push I, I, the A7. I, think that... I mean, gadir has got some time. Rook B2, Rook B2, cut that king off. Rook B2. Yeah, Rook B2 would have been, off. been uh, nice. Bishop D4. Bishop D4. The king is still caught. This is bad. This he's is very bad. He's got tempo and he's got rook to b8 coming. I think oh, Kadir's going to get this one. Yeah. Oh, rook, rook b6 was over there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Busanov yeah. manages to take the last classical bullet game. So uh, impressive, actually. He's going to give check on b8 and take c4. And and uh, as you said yourself, you have an Uncle Bob. Bob is your uncle. <laughs> 